Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it so you don't have to. I'm here in Oak Park, Illinois, where we are witnessing the largest gathering in Illinois, if not the United States, of Harry Potter fans who have all gathered here together to celebrate the release of the new Harry Potter book, Harry Potter and the Dorky Hollows, uh, Deadly Hollows. Literally thousands of children, parents, and very lonely adults have come out here to see what J.K. Rowling has farted up this time. Exactly. Now, I know what you're thinking. How is this a nostalgic event? Well, when you think about it, there's actually a lot of nostalgia value here. Years from now, children are going to be looking back at this cherished day and be asking one question. Why did I wait hours in line for a book that I am most likely going to sell at a garage sale? So, what exactly is your job here tonight? Making sure that everyone's in the right line, in the right place, and that nobody's fighting over their spot. Have any brawls, fights broken out yet? We've had some uh, arguments. Uh, I mean, no know, brawls, brawls, no fists, no. no you fist. haven't had to break out the hairy bats? No, no, no hairy bats. Do you have hairy bats? Oh, God. They actually have a Potter's Butterbeer because nothing celebrates the release of a children's book like getting plastered off your ass. This is Griff. This is a baby Griffin. Uh, it's actually my daughter's. That's so. your daughter? No, 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 no. This is not my daughter. Oh, my okay. Daughter, my... I was going to say because the father must have... <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, we won't go into that. You're meddling in things that ought not to be meddled in. Does he bite it off? Oh, no, no. He's young. <laughs> Everybody's dressed up here. I haven't seen so many wizards and fairies since last year's gay pride parade. Now, there's a rumor going around that you're actually the son of Mary Poppins and Where's Waldo. What do you think about that? Shut up! This is a very exciting stage production that they're doing. It's called uh, Harry Potter and the Winding Up of the Electric Court. As you can see, he's a method actor. Fame isn't everything. Now, I gotta ask you, um, what poor sheep died to give you that beer? I have uh, some Harry Potter jelly beans. The funny thing about Harry Potter jelly beans is that, I'm not kidding, there's a vomit-flavored bean in here. Which I find kind of ironic, because really eating any of these jelly beans creates kind of a vomiting sensation. Looks like he's gonna be sick! Okay, what bathroom rug gave up his life to give you that beer? Alright, so I'm here with the very first people in line for the Harry Potter book. Now, how long have you guys been here? Technically, we were in line until 11. It's 11 13. Yeah. Codswallop! How long have you been in line? Uh, I just got here. Uh huh. Well, you call yourself Harry Potter? No, I don't. <laughs> Frodo would kick Harry's ass. Gandalf! Thank God, look, these, uh, these Harry Potter people are little. How's it going? How's Frodo? No, oh, she's doing very well, very well. How's him and Sam? How's the, you know, you saw the movie, come on. I mean, they, him and Sam were... He's in the Grey Havens. Is that what they're calling it? The Grey Havens? Yeah, yeah. One fantasy land to another fantasy land. Did Gandalf wear glasses? No more questions. I have to admit, I admire you that, you know, you wait here for a whole 13 minutes and everything. Unfortunately, this spot was reserved by me. I will over, kill over. you. Yeah, all right. First one to get the book. Let's go. Oh, Yeah, let's go before he shoots us. I'm here at the end of the line for the Harry Potter book. These are the four unfortunate people who will most likely not get a book because they are the last in line. But you're lucky because I have something very special for you. These are uh, Harry Potter clip notes. I mean, you should go for about a thousand, but you know, I like you guys. You look very straightforward. So um, I'm going to give it to you for uh, two thousand. And uh, your first born child. Alright, alright, second born child. Muggle 
Internet.com people. Am I right? You guys talk about all sorts of uh, theories and conspiracy theories about Harry Potter and so on and so forth, correct? correct. Did Harry cause 9-11? I think so. Is he responsible for the war in Iraq? Fresh Phelps will tell you that. <laughs> uh, that means yes. Yeah. That means yes. Harry caused the war in Iraq. Email them. That address right there. Email it to him. Send every letter. You're putting words in his mouth, sir. I am quite. Wait, get your out of his mouth. Harry caused the war in Iraq! <laughs> See? You heard it right here. You heard it right here. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely how it's cliff notes. Yeah, they're cliff notes. You want them? I'll sell them to you for a thousand. That means. It's a good deal, dude. Huh? It's a good deal. That's top secret, that is. Well, it's about ten minutes until the books are about to be released. Let's go look at the lights. That was the line for the books that were not reserved. This is the line for the books that are. It's like 10 times longer. I mean, what the hell? It's reserved! Isn't that the idea of reserving a book so you don't have to stand in line? Is that some kind of like Hogwarts logic? I mean, it makes no sense. I think it's because Americans are proud of waiting in line. I don't know why, we just get a sick thrill out of it. Standing in one spot is not hard. Anyone can do it. I can do it. Watch! You see? Now give me a book. I shouldn't have said that. All right, it's two minutes to the Harry Potter book. I don't know if there's anything really to be excited about. They seem to be excited. We'll just see how it goes. Barbaric. Well, first of all, I apologize for the reaction I had before. I was just vocalizing my disgust for the entire thing. It's just totally revolting. But uh, here it is. Here's the copy. Uh, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. And man, I'm looking forward to hundreds and hundreds of pages to see how this turns. Right. He lives. $50 wasted. I'm going to Hooters.